They played against, they played against Burnley, yes. 1-1. One, one. Um, how do you feel about that, Dermot? Uh, well, how I feel about that is uh, I'm just wondering why there was no defending on the training uh, list this week for Liverpool. Because Would you say, like, is, is Klopp right to be criticised? Yeah. Like, admittedly, and we were actually talking about this before, like, mm. uh, I think all of us as Liverpool fans love the man too much that we let him away with absolute murder. Like, I mean... I think that was like that with Everton and Martinez. He's a bit like that. Yeah, yeah he, he's, well, such, a, he's such a nice yeah, fellow yeah. that he does yeah. get away with it. And he's, he can't not love the bloke. Yeah, yeah well, I can't. But yeah, yeah. sorry, apart from you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, that match of the weekend, I mean, there's a goal conceded there purely on the basis that defenders are position positionally out of out of where they should be. Like there's a lot of a lot of errors made there. Robertson is too far out. Like they're getting caught off the pitch is basically their main deal. And the defenders aren't coping well with balls over the top or any set piece whatsoever. There was two corner kicks I can remember the game that were like Matip actually made a goal line clearance for one of them. I think another one he's, he's good. I, I would argue Matt Tip is probably the only saving grace they have there in the defence. I'd argue that they need maybe Van Dijk to come in play along so yeah. they would be they, they, they should have just went ahead with that in the summer because they, 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 they need him. Yeah, Bad. look, I, all I'm saying is is that the keeper is an issue that I think needs to be addressed. Fair play to Simon Mignolet, he's probably going to give himself a bit back, but mm. they can't catch a ball. I'm just saying they've got the probably like for out of the top six teams yeah. finishing the league last year, I'd say they probably have. The worst goalkeeper situation. Yeah, 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 definitely. By a long shot, like by, by yeah. a long, long shot. There, you well, know, City probably were worse last year. But City's keeper. See, yeah, right, see, right. That's fair, fair mm-hmm. point. But if they, they at least they addressed that. Like Liverpool yeah, they did, decided yeah, they to right. say, you know what, we're happy with what we have. We're gonna go with these two fellas. Is Carrie's not a good goalie though? I think he, is. he, I mean, he tries to be man of the half yeah. the time and running out of the box and all. And I'm like, what are you doing, man? He reminded me of De Gea in his first year. Last last oh, year, and I thought maybe because he needed time. Yeah, like there was balls going in the box, and it wasn't. It was something he wasn't used to from coming from Spain and stuff like that. And you look, obviously, you look at the high, and he's probably the best keeper in the league now. Um, yeah, but I, I I thought so maybe with time he could get better. Like he, he, he made some errors, but I, I think that's just teething problems. Maybe. So yeah. I think maybe he could be a good keeper. You hope. But you hope, yeah, but I, I don't think they'll have the patience now between him and Minion. I think so. Like it, it, it's, it's a quick fix up. problem that they need to address. Like they have to do that. Same with defenders. I mean, Van Dijk, and I, I, it's hard to say anything bad against Andy Robertson. Obviously, he's only had a few games, so I'm not gonna, mm. I'm not gonna make any. He did make an error there in the weekend, I will say, but you know, I can't really fault the fella. But forwards, obviously, are, I think. An actual striker, as opposed to Roberto Firmino making the swap up there. A number nine. Solanke. He ju- yes, I, I don't know though. Like I did. haven't seen enough. Personally, of personally, if I were Liverpool, I would have chanced my arm at trying to get um, any striker that was open for grabs there. I mean, Aubameyang could have been a, a grab. Klopp obviously known the fella. Uh, yeah, I would have probably ten- I would yeah. I would have tried tempting Diego Costa, saying that we buy you. And put a bio clause in your contract for a let go to take you next season. I don't know. Cavani would have been one that they could have looked at, I suppose. The whether he lived PSG, I don't know. But I mean, not at this moment in time, I don't believe. Because of, well, well, obviously, he just knows what's coming down the pipeline with them. Yeah. With Neymar and all, he, yeah. He'll, yeah, he would have known that. He has that stitched up. Oh yeah, he would have. But well, just. Uh, they need they you are right they do need a number nine they need, they does, need does, does I, I just catch for I just catch Firmino no. dropping way too far back in that team he he, yeah. he still has like very ball, central small, attacking yeah. midfield like like I remember some of the games I've seen him I've seen him back at our right back corner flag like I've seen him uh, pressing for balls I'm like mm. you're a striker like you're supposed to be yeah, now I do admit though Liverpool do that Firmino does drop back and the two wingers will come through which would be very effective against teams playing three at the back I think the pace of those two fellas. Will catch out a lot of centre backs, yeah. and they take advantage of the wing backs being up the pitch, a long ball over the top, and I think that's why Klopp would really, really like the idea of holding on to Coutinho. Good delivery in, you can see it for the Salah goal as well. It's, yeah. it's all about the that thing. Ball I would ball. argue is is I think Klopp is to to be blamed. That if you look at their transfers, there's not a lot of Champions League quality players there. Salah, yes, 
but then you got Robertson and you got Solanke, who's a good up and coming player. But these aren't players that are going to get you no, out, out of your. Out of your I think pitches. they will get out of that group, but these aren't players that are going to get you through quarterfinals of the Champions League. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they have a good, I'd say, 11, or even <coughs> if that, because the fans aren't the great. Fans aren't but, great like, they're uh, a great front half of the team. Yeah. Back half of the team. It's like that photo. Did you ever see that photo? It's like a real nice car and it's box. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at the end, it's just like shine. Which is yeah, it's a good description to be fair. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but no, but that's the thing. That's why I think Klopp should be uh, criticised in that aspect. And uh, look, yeah. anyone could be a nice guy, but at the end of the day, if, if I'm a nice guy, I'm not doing my job. I'd expect to be getting criticised. You know what I mean? Yeah. Regardless of, you know. But look, like, up to the cup two weeks ago, after the beat Arsenal, everything was fine. Do you know what I mean? It's things change very quickly. You know the way. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a problem two weeks ago because they were winning. As soon as the results start going against them, going against them. It's, you should have bought a centre half. You should have bought a goalkeeper. But I think everyone knew they should have bought a centre half anyway. Yeah, I mean, but the, it's the amazing. Van Dijk situation is an absolute like just. It's amazing how we can see what they need, but like the actual managers can't. Like it's so basic. And but, what I find is like the biggest pursuit they have this summer is Navi Keita. Like why? Why are you trying? Like I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Like, see I don't understand like, why you want the emphasis on a centre yeah. mid position as well. I mean, like you can count nearly eight centre mids you can stick in there for Liverpool at the moment. So what's the point? In, mm. Yeah, I don't, like, he yeah, still I don't comes know. next season. And I, I just don't get yeah. why he's playing all these players. Like he's yeah. he's signing players in positions he doesn't need, in the positions he do does need, he's done nothing. Yeah, because he, another one who signed was obviously Oxlade Chamberlain. Does you know, nothing. Where, he, where does where does he fit in? He's not going to help the defense if he puts that way. But it's weird that he would spend how much? It was thirty five million. Yeah, thirty five rising to forty would add on. On a squad player, he did used to play for Southampton, which makes sense for Liverpool. Yeah, obviously they had to draft him in. Yeah, I mean, so yeah. Fit in well there, like he went around the long. Oh, did I take Fraser for us to them from from yeah. Well, do you know what? He'd be a good keeper. I think. Uh, I don't think. I think he's declined in the last uh, year or so. I think uh, probably still better what they have, but uh, true. I don't know. Like this, I think they. I think they probably missed out on Pickford. Pickford's I think is a great, really good keeper, and I think he's gonna be. I think he'd be probably England number one in the next two years. Yeah, I think he just uh, improve on a lot from um, watching him, but uh, yeah, well, no, I, do, I, do. I don't think his height helps him. Probably not, but. He's good. I mean, he's good reach. He's quick. Good reactions. I mean, yeah. you know, I think he's one of the good signings that you've had this summer. Yeah. You know, but I along, mean, along with Sigurdsson. But well, I think Kuhn and Klopp are right really to be criticised. Kuhn did yeah. not address um, big problems. He didn't himself. address any defenders. Mm. Michael Keane, right? He's okay. Looks a bit like you actually. Um, <laughs> he's okay at best. Right? Yeah. I don't think he's great at all. He's uh, good. I think. Uh, then he got Martina. He's bought all these, and then he bought all these number tens, and he's trying to fit them all. Yeah, in. He bought quantity and not quality. That was the problem. I think. Yeah, there's a lot. There's an all, a lot of overload there in positions. That he he could have got four or five good players and got a balance to the squad rather than. I think he bought. Yeah, but he let a lot of players go. He seems to be the type of manager that uh, players fall out with. Like look at Barkley. He's I think yeah. pretty much pushing back there. Barkley yeah. doesn't want to play for him. No. Um, so yeah, but I'd say he he has very particular thoughts on football at this point in time. Like you have to give it to the fella. He's a, he was an incredibly, uh, incredibly talented footballer himself. He obviously has worked with incredible so, systems so, so at Barcelona and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. With, with everything, it's you have to give them a bit of time, though, man. I'm telling you, like that team is fresh. Like it's only yeah. Put together. I mean, the, the real test would be the next kind of couple of games. I was going to yeah, say when they play, when they play, when they play teams in the lower half. Of the yeah. Table. So then we're going to see how the shapes this up, but still they yeah. got no striker. They have got no pace up on the wide positions all from them. So yeah. Um. It, it's and Baines doesn't get past the halfway line. He's not anymore. As good as as good a left back he was three four years ago. Yeah. He's still very good and intelligent on the ball. Yeah. But, yeah uh, absolutely. In the position he's supposed to be playing, and he's not really doing a lot there. The thing I was going to say is, uh, let's not take away too much from Burnley. In fairness, yeah. they are a very well, solid yeah. defensive unit, mm-hmm. and well, obviously they're got they, the they, they do what they, they, they do what they do well, and I think Chris Wood is a, he's a great signing. Yeah, in terms he he fits in exactly what Deutsch wants from the squad, and he will. He will score goals from set pieces, yeah. you know, he'll cause he'll cause big problems. It's good though. You see the likes of Robbie Brady, he was obviously involved in the goal, which is how they were kind of. Um, kept the pressure on there, but yeah. it's cool. I, I just I love seeing our our Irish players doing well. Players, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah like, obviously, I'm just saying quiet, quietly uh, rooting for Burnley in the league this year myself, just for that strong Irish presence. I think every any Irish person would be like wanting to see them do well against any team. Well, I, I think but of course, I didn't want to see them do well against Liverpool. But I think they'll, anyway. they'll, they'll, 
comfortably stay up anyway. Yeah. Ah, yeah, they're very well organised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll get goals from us from Wood and you know deliveries from Brady and you know yeah, exactly. They, they will get goals there. So yeah. watching them like they were closing down players very very intelligently against Liverpool. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of things were saved from Liverpool in that match just from Bernie's like the defenders were closing down players like sharp. Mm. Two people will come as well. There's no way for you yeah. to get out. Oh, they're they're very very organised. Yeah, uh, they're, they're very, very underrated them. manager. Yeah. You're looking at uh, teams like Palace. You're looking. Why would they not have gone for him? Would be a question I'd be wondering. I don't know. Yeah, that's something strange. To be honest with you, I think it's absolutely crazy about saying right. We we're we're going to get the ball in. He's going to have a style of football. We're going to you know get back him here. Four weeks into the season, no. Nah. Change. Yeah. We're, cha- we're changing everything, and it, it's just everything that's wrong with football at the moment. Do you I, know the way? I think I think the board's a good manager, he's a great player. But I feel worried for Crystal Palace then. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, they're tough from the games coming up there as well. Very tough, and but they and they need points because they're not in a position to sack another manager. You know, yeah. I, I can't. To be honest with you, they're gonna yeah, they're really gonna struggle, really gonna struggle. So. Uh, well, let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.